Hello everyone, here we are with another lesson. This is American English File, Second Edition, Book 2, Student Book, Part 4B, Passion and Shopping. Okay, time to get active. Fashion. Everybody, look at the pictures. Yeah, these are different styles, right? Now, I have some questions for you. What are they wearing? What's your favorite style? How often do you go shopping? What are you wearing now? What is your friend wearing now? What do you wear to a meeting? What do you wear to the gym? What are your favorite brands? How much do you spend on clothes? Answer these questions. Well done. Now I need you to speak to your partner. Share your ideas. This is on you. Okay, that was a very good discussion, wasn't it? Now, with your partner, write down the names of three fashion designer what nationality are they do they design more for men or for women and what kind of things does their company make right this is on you i'm going to wait for you and give you some time mm -hmm. well done very good now these are some of my sample answers coco chanel french designs for women Clothes, perfume, bags, sunglasses, etc. Or Giorgio Armani, Italian, designs for men and women. Clothes, perfume, sunglasses, etc. Or Donna Karan, American, designs for women, clothes and perfume. Well done. Now, everybody, look at the pictures first. Yeah. Read the introduction to an interview. You know interview, like TV interviews, radio interviews, newspaper interviews, right? So read the introduction to an interview and look at the photos. Do you like the clothes? Do you like them? Look at the styles. Hmm. Mostly ladies styles, right? For example, lady shoes, right? Okay, so let's read the introduction together first. The style interview. Lindka Surok is a fashion designer. She makes very exclusive clothes for women. She has made clothes for many celebrities, including members of the British royal family. For example, Kate Middleton and Sarah Ferguson, whose wedding dress she designed, and actresses like Helen Mirren. Nice. So, I guess it's a very good job to be a fashion designer. Now, do you want to be a fashion designer yourself? Okay, give me that answer. Very well. Good for a start. Now, we're going to read the interview, the full interview with this fashion designer. Now, I need you to read the interview and fill in the blanks with A to F. All right? For example, A, I absolutely hate it dressing as a man or b i really understand how women want to feel so there are some blanks for one two all the way to five i guess or six yeah six so read the interview and fill in the blanks with a b c d e or f again i'm gonna wait for you this is on you a few moments later okay you're back so let's read the interview together and fill in the blanks okay the first question did you always want to be a designer not at all when i was at school i had problems reading and later i was diagnosed as dys dyslexic do you know what it means check your dictionary okay e the only things i enjoyed there were art and sewing right after school i took a secretarial course and then i got a job at vogue magazine it's a very famous magazine by the way i loved it and there i realized that what i wanted to do was design clothes mm. good the second question 
Why do you think people like your clothes? Being a female designer has many advantages too. B. I really understand how women want to feel. My customers leave the studio feeling like a million dollars. Feeling like a million dollars. Feeling very good. Very ecstatic, right? What nationality do you think has the best fashion sense? Probably the Italians. Oh, really? F. They are so chic and their sense of color is so natural to them. Nice. Have you ever been to a costume party? You know costume party? I hate costume parties, but I can remember one when I was 10. Okay. What did you go as? My mother made me and my younger sister dress as a bride and bridegroom. I was the bridegroom. A. I absolutely hated dressing as a man. Now we have the glossary here, bride or bridegroom, a woman or man on the day of her or his wedding. So bride being the lady and bridegroom being the groom, the man. All right. Now, have you ever met someone who was wearing exactly the same outfit as you? Never. Thank goodness. I'm lucky because I can choose from a large se selection of our collection each season. Have you ever fallen because you were wearing very high heels? I've never fallen, but once I had to take off my shoes in the middle of a reception at the house of the Lord. D. My feet were killing me. Now, what's the house of the Lord? The house of the Lord, the second house of the British Parliament. That's a very important place. Now... What did you do? I walked into the street in bare feet and jumped into a taxi. Okay. Have you ever designed clothes for a man? Yes, I have. When was it? It was when I was studying at the London College of Fashion. I designed my first men's wear collection. Shirts, pants and leather jackets. C. My boyfriend at that time was very lucky. He didn't need to buy any clothes that year. <laughs> nice. Okay. Let's continue. Okay. Now, everyone, I need you to read this interview again. There are three questions I need you to answer. All right. Now, look at the four questions in the interview. Answer with a partner. You and your friend, both of you. Which questions are about experiences sometime in Lindka's life? Number two, which questions are about a specific moment in Lindka's past? Number three, what does ever mean in the questions that begin with have you ever? All right, take your time, read it, answer these three questions. I'm waiting for you. Tick, tick, tick. A few minutes later. Okay, you're back. So, did you answer the questions? Okay, these are the answers. Let's address them. Number one, which questions are about experiences sometime in Lindka's life? Have you ever fallen because you were wearing very high heels? Have you ever designed clothes for a man? Right? Which questions are about a specific moment in Lindka's past? What did you do? When was it? A specific time. And what does ever mean in the questions that begin with have you ever? At any time. All right. It's a very general question. Right. Well done. You did very good. But I need your attention. All right. Okay. As I told you, I need you to pay attention. Open your eyes, your ears, everything that needs to be open. Listen and practice. 2.24 Have you ever been to a costume party? She's seen that movie twice. I've never met Nina's husband. Good. So as you can see, the sentences are in present perfect. What's present perfect? Something that happened in the past 
but the time is not specific. The time is not clear, right? As it's written here, we often use the present perfect to talk about past experiences in our lives when we don't specify a time. We don't know when it happened. It just happened. We don't know, right? Been and gone. Compare the present perfect of be and go. Mike has been to Paris. He went to Paris and came back, right? He went there and he came back. Mike has gone to Paris. He's in Paris now. Where is Mike? He's gone to Paris. He's in Paris now. Do you understand? And another point, everybody look, present perfect or past simple, which one? Listen. 2.25 Have you ever been to Mexico? Yes, I have. When did you go there? I went last year. Have you seen his new movie? Yes, I have. What did you think of it? I loved it. Okay, so far so good. Now, listen. Have you ever been to Mexico? Sometime in the past, the time is not clear. Yes, I have. When did you go there? I went last year. So, you use simple past if the time is clear. If you can specify it. But if you don't know, if it was in the past, but you don't know when, clearly, you use present perfect. Have you seen this new movie? Yes, I have. What did you think of it? I loved it. Right? So for a specific information, simple present. If this information is not clear, present perfect. Something that happened in the past. But we don't know when. It's not clear, right? So, conversations often begin in the present perfect with a general question and then change into a simple past to ask or give a specific details. For example, when, what, where, who with, etc. Okay, you know what you need to know, but I need you to show me your skills. You're smart. Let's practice. It's your time to shine. Three exercises. A. Complete with the verb in the present perfect. Something that happened in the past, but the time is not clear. For example, have you done the grocery shopping today? Right? B. Complete the dialogue with the present perfect or simple past. If you want a specific information, what do we use? Yes, the simple past. And C, complete with been or gone. Do you know the difference? You need to show me. Okay, now, stop the video and do it. Very good. Check your answers with your friends. Well done. Okay, let's do it together. All right, number one. Have you ever bought clothes from that store? Number two, I've always wanted a pair of designer shoes. Number three, I haven't read the newspaper today. Number four, we haven't been to the new shopping mall yet. Number five, has your brother lived abroad all his life? Number six, they've gone to live in South America. Number seven, she hasn't flown before. Number eight, James hasn't met his girlfriend's family yet, right? Number nine, have you eaten in this restaurant before? And number ten, Jane has gone to the gym. She'll be back in an hour. So far, so good. Now the dialogue. Oh no, I've seen this movie before. Really? When did you see it? I went to the movies in March and it was in theaters then. Oh, never mind. I haven't been to the movies in ages. The last movie I saw was Mamma Mia. Did you enjoy it? Of course, I loved it. Mm. So specific information means simple past. And been and gone. Where's Rob? He's gone to the basketball game. The kids aren't here. 
they've all gone out so they didn't go and come back they have gone and they are still there right have you ever been to the swimming pool in town number three i haven't been to sue's new apartment yet number four my sister has gone to teach in thailand and she's still there right and number five dad's been to the grocery store the refrigerator is full it means daddy went to the grocery store and came back with groceries right well done everyone you did very good now can you see this this is my headphone now you're going to listen to four people answering the questions have you ever bought something that you have never worn right what did they buy right one to four in the boxes there is one item you don't need there is one extra item okay everybody so listen and number all right let's do it 2.26 one have you ever bought something that you've never worn yes hasn't everyone I remember some pants I bought that I never wore. What was the problem with them? They were very tight black leather pants that I bought from a second-hand store when I was about 20 years old. I remember when I was in the fitting room, I thought they looked amazing. I thought I looked like Jim Morrison from The Doors. But when I got home in the cold light of day, I realized that I look more like one of the women from ABBA. <laughs> That's why I never wore them. 2. Have you ever bought something that you've never worn? Yes, a karate uniform. I decided that I wanted to do karate, and I signed up for lessons and bought the uniform and the orange belt. But then I changed my mind and decided not to take the lessons. Why not? I was worried that someone would knock my teeth out. Do you still have the uniform? No, I sold it on eBay. 3. Have you ever bought something that you've never worn? Sadly, it happens to me a lot because I hate clothes shopping and I never try things on. For example, I have a shirt in my closet now that I've never worn. Why not? Well, I bought it in a hurry a few months ago and then I put it away in my closet. A few weeks later, I took it out and looked at it, and I thought, why did I buy this? It's awful, pink and purple stripes. And of course, I didn't have the receipt, so I couldn't take it back. 4. Have you ever bought something that you've never worn? A lot of things, actually. The last one was a brown leather coat. What was wrong with it? Well, I bought it online from a website that has cheap deals, but when it arrived, it looked completely different from what it looked like on the computer screen, and I decided I didn't like it. So it's in my closet. I'm sure I'm never going to wear it, but maybe I'll give it to someone as a present. Okay, check your answers with your friends. All right, these are the answers. Easy, right? Now, everybody... I need you to listen again. What was the problem with the clothes? Write one to four in the boxes. So again, you need to listen and number. What was the problem? The problem. 2.26 1. Have you ever bought something that you've never worn? Yes. Hasn't everyone? I remember some pants I bought that I never wore. What was the problem with them? They were very tight black leather pants that I bought from a second-hand store when I was about 20 years old. I remember when I was in the fitting room, I thought they looked amazing. I thought I looked like Jim Morrison from The Doors. But when I got home in the cold light of day, I realized that I look more like one of the women from ABBA. <laughs> That's why I never wore them. 2. Have you ever bought something that you've never worn? Yes, a karate uniform. I decided that I wanted to do karate, 
and I signed up for lessons and bought the uniform and the orange belt. But then I changed my mind and decided not to take the lessons. Why not? I was worried that someone would knock my teeth out. Do you still have the uniform? No, I sold it on eBay. 3. Have you ever bought something that you've never worn? Sadly, it happens to me a lot because I hate clothes shopping and I never try things on. For example, I have a shirt in my closet now that I've never worn. Why not? Well, I bought it in a hurry a few months ago and then I put it away in my closet. A few weeks later, I took it out and looked at it and I thought, why did I buy this? It's awful, pink and purple stripes. And of course, I didn't have the receipt, so I couldn't take it back. 4. Have you ever bought something that you've never worn? A lot of things, actually. The last one was a brown leather coat. What was wrong with it? Well, I bought it online from a website that has cheap deals, but when it arrived, it looked completely different from what it looked like on the computer screen, and I decided I didn't like it. So it's in my closet. I'm sure I'm never going to wear it, but maybe I'll give it to someone as a present. Okay. So again, you know the drill. Check it with your friends, all right? Now these are the answers. The reason they didn't like the clothes. What was the problem with the clothes, right? So these are the answers. Well done. Now, have you ever bought something that you've never worn? What was it? And what was the problem? Speak to your friends, all right? Three days later. And now, I need you to listen to some sentences from the listening. Fill in the blanks with one word. With a partner, say what the highlighted phrases mean. All right, so listen, fill in the blanks, and find the meaning. You can use your dictionary, you can use Google Translate or Oxford Dictionary. This is on you. All right, so let's listen. 2.27 one. I remember when I was in the fitting room, I thought they looked amazing. Two. I sold it on eBay. Three. I hate clothes shopping, and I never try things on. Four. I didn't have the receipt, so I couldn't take it back. Five. Well, I bought it online from a website that has cheap deals. Okay, now let's listen again and check our answers, right? Okay, let's listen again. 2.27 1. I remember when I was in the fitting room, I thought they looked amazing. 2. I sold it on eBay. 3. I hate clothes shopping, and I never try things on. 4. I didn't have the receipt, so I couldn't take it back. 5. Well, I bought it online from a website that has cheap deals. Well done. Impressive work. Okay, you are doing very good. Now, everyone, shopping in a shop or store okay match the words and pictures for example look number one take something back all right so match the pictures with the words or phrases here do it well done now i need you to listen and check 2.28 in a shop or store 3. Check out. 4. Customer. 5. Fitting rooms. 2. Receipt. 8. Salesperson. 7. 
Shopping cart, basket. 1. Take something back. 6. Try something on. Okay, check your answers with your friends. Now these are the answers. Number 2. Receipt. Number 3. Check out. Number 4. Customer. Number 5. Fitting rooms. Number 6. Try something on. And number 7. Shopping cart or shopping basket. And number 8. Sales person. Very good. Now, I have a question for you. Have you ever bought anything online with Amazon or, for example, other applications in your country? Okay, so we're going to read about it. Now, everybody read the text about shopping online, then complete it with the words from the list. Account, checkout, payments, auction, delivery, size, cart, item, website. Okay, for example, look, website is used. Shopping online. When you are shopping online, first you go to the website. Okay, so this is on you. Take your time. I'm going to wait for you again. 12 seconds later. Good, you're back. Now I need you to listen and check. 2.29 Online When you are shopping online, first you go to the website. The first time you use a site, you usually have to create an account where you give your personal information. You then choose what you want to buy and click on each item. If you are buying clothes, make sure you get the right size. Everything you buy goes into your shopping bag or cart, usually at the top right of the page. When you are ready to pay, you click on Proceed to Checkout. You then have to give your delivery address where you want them to send your things and give your payment information, for example, your credit card number and expiration date. Many people today also buy and sell things online at auction sites like eBay. Well done. Couldn't have done it better. Let's proceed, right? Now, pronunciation. Everybody, how is the letter C? pronounced in these words put them in the right row this is a row this is a row it has two pronunciations for example sometimes like key k and sometimes like snake s right okay do it put the words in the rows all right now listen and check when is C pronounced as S? 2.30 Key K Account Auction Click Close Credit card Customer Snake S City Decide Nice Proceed. Receipt. Well done. So, these are the answers. Now, everybody, I need you to listen. How is CH usually pronounced? Right? Listen and circle the two words where CH is pronounced differently. Usually, CH is pronounced like CH. CH. Right? Change. Cheap. All right. Now there are two words with different pronunciation. Listen and circle. Mm -hmm. Two point thirty one. Change. Cheap. Check out. Chemistry. Chic. Choose. Easy, right? So chemistry chic right well done everybody okay i know it's a long session you may be tired but this is the last set in the house complete the questions with past participle of the verb okay i'm gonna help you because i know you may be tired right okay 
So let's start with the first one. Have you ever bought and sold anything on eBay? What? And did you pay or get a good price? Number two, have you ever bought something online and had a problem with it? What was it? What did you do? Number three, have you ever had an argument with a salesperson? What was it about? Number four, have you ever tried to exchange something without the receipt? Were you successful? Have you ever accidentally taken something from a store without paying? What did you take? What happened? Number six, have you ever bought shoes without trying them on? Did they fit? Number seven, have you ever gotten to the supermarket checkout and then found you didn't have enough money? What did you do? And number eight, have you ever lost your credit card? Where did you lose it? And did you get it back? Right? Now I need you to answer these questions and compare your answers with your friends. Speak to your friends. And that's the session for today. Thank you for watching my channel. And if you have a question, you know what to do. A comment and I will get back to you. See you soon, friends. It's really emotional to be here with you. Bye-bye.